This is it. What will we find behind nor this path? Talk to Ruth Mother, okay. The aesthetic in this game is actually pretty nice. So another seeks the roots council. Closer, child. It's you, the one who washed ashore. We see all things. We are the root mother. A vessel of wisdom through which the root speaks. What is it you seek? Wait, are you the one who does everything like this or what? I mean, what? I get what you are supposed to be. I'm looking for the founder. He came to see you. How do I get through the storm around the atoll? The founder. Consumed by desperation and pride, now gone beyond this world, an unwitting harbinger of... Could it be? Has the hour come? <clears throat> yes. Clearer it becomes. You seek to end the route, but the path is hidden. This vessel knows the road you seek. Help, we must, but not where ears can hear. They will come for us when bonds we break. Will you protect? Will you trust? What the fuck is going on? It's a, a lady sitting in tree chair and talking like protect. Well, so. If I, my guess is that Roots came here, they took control over her body, but not really, they're just using her as a vessel. And if she helps us, the Roots will know and kill her. So she's asking for us, our help, in order to get her help. I have questions first. Ask, but I cannot answer what they must not know. Not while burrowed within their boughs. We know how to find the path you seek, but they must not hear. Protect I understand us, that. You must, or nothing will be learned. Who are you? This vessel, once a child, now a watcher. Awaiting the end. Everyone's been a child. The beginning, a prophecy. You, the root, I, I will, will not you. release this vessel without consequence. You must defend us. Okay, so I'm just gonna stand here, protect you, I guess. What are you doing? She's trying to get out of the chair. As long as it's these guys, it's going to be easy. But I have a feeling it's not going to be just them. Nope. Oh, she's got health over there. Actually, going for her first. He's going for me. Almost freak. 
15 seconds, apparently. Oh, I'm so focused right now. Oh, there we go. Damn, movement. You got some hidden power right there. Thank you, child. What happens now? I have learned much from the root. I will aid you. We will fight it together. First, I must rest. Look there, the wall. There is a path beyond. Find the path. Then seek me out among your... Our in the place you call the ward. So she's going to the ward now? We shall meet again. All will be answered in due time. Let Can I an old get this? Woman rest. Yeah, I, I don't care about you. Give me that. I want this. Thank you. What's the door here? It was blocked or something. What's in here? Uh, the dreams are getting worse. Last night I was hunting this family in the woods outside town. I could smell the tang of their fear. I liked it. I craved it. it made me run faster. Gave me a rush of pleasure as I jumped and plunged my claws into their sucking chests. I woke up screaming. I wish I could say they were screams of terror. I'm not sure. Uh, my screams woke the others a little. Nadine cried. Andrew asked what was wrong. I told him Nadine had a bad dream. That was what woke us. I tell Andrew I will. I just need time to process this. Dreamed again. Pack of scavengers north of the highway. Their lookout took a break and we killed them in their sleep. I witnessed the slaughter from a dozen angles at once. Didn't scream this time, but woke in tears. Not entirely sure why sure my tears were for the scavengers. I had a dream. I was hunted last night. They tricked us, baited us like animals, but I saw it first. I directed two of us towards the bait while the rest held back in the shadows. And they thought we sprung their trap, but they sprung ours. With each of their deaths, blissful heat surged through my body over and over again, continuing even after I woke. I wasn't just watching this time, not just feeling what they felt, I communicated, I helped them, I did it, and it felt good. Found a clutch of humans hiding it out in the hospital, they weren't ready, their screams tasted like honey, we murdered every last one of them before the bastards could even reach their weapons. Oh god, what the hell is happening to me? Rereading these entries, I'm scared of myself, of what I'm feeling, of what I'm wanting. Nadine's learning to read now. Gotta keep this journal locked away. Can't have her or anyone stumbling on it. Had a new dream, not like the others. I crawled out of the ground, lifting myself up until I was ten stories high. The human weapons couldn't do more than tickle me. I smashed their buildings to rubble with them inside. It's real. I know it. We've never seen anything like this, and I think it knows about us, about me. It's coming this way. <clears throat> I told Andrew about the thing in my dream. He's sure it's not real, but he doesn't know. I haven't told him most of my other dreams, how they felt. He can't know. He won't trust me, but this monster has killed dozens, hundreds of people somewhere up north. And it's on its way here. I have to do something. A stream of refugees came into the city today, spouting stories of a towering behemoth that lived in entire buildings. Andrew, oh yeah, you were right then. Andrew and I shared a look, fear blatant in his eyes. He grilled me on my dream then. How big was the monster? Does it have any weaknesses? How long before it gets here? I wish I had more answers for him. I only really know one thing. We can't beat it. Not with anything we have. I've been thinking. 
What if I could get in their heads? I mean, on purpose. The root knows about Warp 13 the same way I know about them. My dreams connect us both ways. What if I can use that? What if I can fool them, hide Warp 13, or convince them it's been abandoned, or... Ugh. But there's so much I don't know about this connection. You seriously write uh in your jur journal? I've never used it except when I am asleep. How do I do this? More refugees, the behemoth is getting closer. If these survivors are to be believed, they'll be here within a fortnight. Merry Christmas, I guess. We're all going gonna die. Unless I can figure something out. It worked. God help me, it worked. Oh, if you, apparently they figured it out. We fought off some root, fought off some root today, and I found myself alone with a root devil bearing down on me. I could feel what it felt, its rage, its desire to end me. But if I could feel it, then it could feel me, right? So I reached out to it in my mind, tried to shove my emotions in onto it, my love for Andrew and Nadine, our need to survive. And the devil hesitated. And I didn't just feel that one devil. I felt all of the root, a million minds thinking at mo as one. I could hear them speak to me if I wanted. Some Then someone came over the ridge and blasted the devil to splinter. But it worked. I can do this. I can save Ward 13. So they, okay, they were connected as a hive mind. That's interesting. Yeah, of course, they're connected. The mother should have figured that out before. Andrew wasn't crazy about the idea. He still thinks we can fight the behemoth, but he wasn't in the root's head. He didn't see it. We can't beat it alone. I'm sorry, I'm getting so absorbed into this. Uh, I'm just going to finish this one, okay? Because this is really in interesting. We're running out of time. Lookout saw the behemoths outside the city. It's worse than uh, even I thought. My dreams are getting worse too. It knows me now. It tries to talk to me. It's calling me. Andrew doesn't want to talk about it. Not the dreams. Not my plan. Nothing. Makes him angry. Wait. I, I must miss something. My dreams are getting worse too. It knows. Sorry. Calling Andrew is not. Okay. But I know I can save them. We'll die if I do nothing. It's in the city. <laughs> it's coming right for us. I'm going to the old church. The roots thick there. I gotta go before Andrew wakes up or he'll stop me. Oh, this is the mother's journal. Andrew and Nadine, if you ever read this, I hope you understand how much I love you. As crazy as I've been these years, seeing the root, feeling them, I'm still and always El Evelyn Setter Ford. Your wife, your mother and founder of Ward 13. I, oh no, it's not. I will do anything if it means you'll live. They have to be stopped. Nothing else matters. Even if I have to become one of them. Damn. It'll work. I know it will. I can hide the ward from them. Push them some other way. Confuse them. But I don't know what will happen to me. I guess if you're reading this, then it worked. You're alive. It will all have been worth it. I love you, Nadine. I love you, Andrew. And I'm sorry. Damn. So that was the founder. Or hero for us. Like, we're looking for the hero. I'm guessing that's him. Got some green stuff here. I should probably be more of those. I got a sniper rifle. Oh, it does so much damage. Oh, hell yeah. Change mark. Can I remove it, please? Unequip. There we go. Oh, but I got so little ammo now. Can snipe from far, which is cool. 
Got a new area over there. Let's try to follow his footstep and find this behemoth, probably. Uh, gonna be fun. I love a good challenge. Dragonlings. Asgard was the first to speak with the dragon. He didn't tell us, though, until it was too late. Checkpoint. Meet the uh, roof mortar in board 13. Wait, is that. We got one right there. Oh, get wrecked. Can I snap from all the way over here? Come on, show yourself. I'll play nice. Come on. Where are you? Hello? Oh, here we got one. Oh, I missed. What the hell is you can shoot from all of the way over there as well? Bam. There we go. Let me see. How much ammo can it actually hold? If I just rest here. Ooh. That's actually not bad. But still unsure about that. Let's return to Ward 13. Hello, and thank you so much for watching to the end. If you enjoyed, Leave a like and subscribe, I'll make more content. Also, check out some of my other video videos on this side right here. Anyways, have a good day.